Hey loves, it's Angelica. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the most powerful oil I have ever made. And yes, it's more powerful than the last one that I posted. So first thing, we are using the double boiler method and the base is going to be avocado oil. Now, of course, you can use whatever other oil you have if you don't have this one, but avocado oil is my favorite oil, my favorite carrier oil, but I haven't been able to find it for like over a year because there were always flavored ones, but this is the best one so I'm using half a cup but if you're trying this for the first time or you're not sure use a quarter cup so this little green cup I'm holding is a quarter cup so just use half of everything that I use but if you've used something similar and you're confident go ahead and do the full recipe because this one actually has a very long shelf life compared to my previous ones now the reason why I love avocado oil so much is because it penetrates the hair shaft so much easier than any other oil and it makes my hair feel so soft like a moisturizer now I'm going to be using dry rosemary and I know a lot of you guys always ask me in my previous rosemary oil videos if it's okay to use dry rosemary is it actually effective and it is very effective I just usually prefer to use fresh one but the goodness with using the dry one is that it has a much longer shelf life so you don't have to worry about the oil being moldy but if you want I do have fresh more rosemary and that's what it looks like and you can use that in place of the dry one no need to mix both and I will not be. Next, I'm adding moringa powder and I'm adding a tablespoon and a half. No, sorry, one tablespoon of moringa. I used a tablespoon and a half of rosemary. Now, moringa is a superfood and it has so many different vitamins and benefits for your hair, for your scalp, and this is just extremely nourishing. Also, note that ingesting any of these is also amazing. Cooking with avocado oil, eating rosemary, eating moringa in your food is also extremely beneficial for hair growth. So, anyway. I have left it to just heat up. The, the water at the bottom is not boiling. It is just hot, hot enough to extract all the nutrients from everything we're adding to this avocado oil without making anything burn or denaturing any of the products. So I was mixing occasionally and 10 minutes later, you can see it looks exactly the same. So I would suggest you time it because unlike with using fresh rosemary, dry rosemary doesn't really change color. It looks exactly the same. So just time it for 10 minutes and then it should be done and then I left it to sit with this little cover so nothing falls in overnight so this was the next day 24 hours later and it is time to get the oil we do not need any of the rosemary sprigs or any of that left because we've extracted everything that we need the only reason we'd want to keep it in the bottle is honestly just to make it look fancy if you want to see the little rosemary sprigs but there is no need for it so I am going to be sieving that out I'm just mixing everything up to make sure that nothing is separated and it's time to pour it into a glass container so I'm going to be using that strainer right there this this is sort of a thicker oil after you add everything so I wouldn't advise you to use anything like a cheesecloth just use a strainer that's big enough to allow the particles in the oil to pass through without allowing the little bits of rosemary to fall through so as you can see I have to keep like mixing it around with the spatula to make sure that the oil can go through and not get stuck in the rosemary because honey we are not about to waste any oil I am going to squeeze every drop of oil out of those rosemary sprigs to make sure we get as much as we can and as you can see the oil is not too much so I'm gonna get through this pretty fast we'll say a month or two and it's not going to go bad because everything is dry there's nothing fresh and usually if you use something fresh like fresh rosemary it's going to go fast it's going to go bad fast because of the water content in the rosemary so maybe three weeks to a month it would be off now I'm adding a tablespoon of castor oil. I know I'm not using a measuring spoon, but I can eyeball it. That's about a tablespoon. Then I'm finishing my peppermint oil and I'm using about 10 drops of that as well. And then now we are adding rosemary essential oil as well. Now this one is not a must because we already have the extract from the rosemary, but I like to get as much powerful benefits from rosemary because it is one of the most heavily researched and most effective hair growth oils out of any of them out there. So I prefer to use the rosemary sprigs and the rosemary essential oil, but if you only have one or the other, that is fine too. So this is what it looks like. It's nice, rich, and dark. And now I'm going to show you how I apply it to my hair. So on most days, I would just go straight in, maybe on slightly damp hair like what you can see now. I'm using my infinity spray bottle to wet my hair because I don't want my hair to be soaking wet. I just want it to be damp enough to be able to absorb anything that I put on it. I find that if I leave my hair dry, 
if I put oil, it can just sort of lock in the dryness or it just kind of like sits on top of the hair because my hair just doesn't absorb stuff as well as I'd want it to because it is low porosity. So here I'm just dampening my hair. If you see me sort of like massaging my hair, I'm not really doing a scalp massage. I'm just trying to let the water penetrate my hair shaft to prepare it for my moisturizer. So on a regular day, if it wasn't my moisturizing day, I would go in straight with the oil. But this was about halfway through the week after I, I had already moisturized my hair so this is my moisturizing day and I figured I'd just show you how to do that as well before we apply the oil if you've ever seen any of my how I moisturize my hair in protective styles videos before then you would have seen how I do this but if not here a little lesson on how I do it so my hair is in braids cornrows halfway and then loose braids at the back so once I feel that my hair is nicely saturated all over with the mist I go ahead and use my moisturizer now I really don't need to use too much because again my hair is in braids and once it's damp it absorbs product very easily so I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner and I love this conditioner even if my hair is in twists or braids because despite it looking a little thick in the container it's actually not and once you rub it between your palms it is super light and it easily absorbs into the hair so I start with the ends of my hair as always because they are the oldest and driest parts of the hair and they can really help you maintain hair growth so this is a powerful combo to go with this powerful oil because if you use a hair growth oil that really boosts your hair growth but your diet is bad your hair habits are bad you're constantly breaking off your hair you don't treat it well and the ends are breaking even if it's growing at a faster rate your hair might still be getting shorter or looking bad because the only new thing you've incorporated into your routine is using this powerful oil and you might be saying well I have used this oil of yours for two months and it has not done anything for me my hair is still trash it's probably because everything else in your routine is trash and even if your hair possibly grows faster than usual or gets thicker than usual you won't notice because all your other habits are bad and your hair is still breaking or getting damaged or dry so as you can see after I work all the product into the ends I go ahead and focus it closer to the hair on my scalp and the actual hair shaft everywhere closer to the roots of my hair but I don't put the moisturizer actually on my scalp because that can actually clog your follicles and that will stunt your hair growth so that's not what we want so just use a light conditioner and even if your hair is not in twists or braids and it's just out you can still do this and go ahead and moisturize your hair in sections maybe four sections and then proceed to applying the oil to your hair so as you can see I'm doing something similar to what I did with the water I'm just working that product into my hair and if I can see any like white patches anywhere it means that hasn't really sunk into my hair so I just make sure I go around and push that product well into my hair and once I feel like my hair is moisturized enough from the edges all the way to the ends I go ahead to start to oil my hair so I don't have a glass bottle right now that's empty so I'm just going to be using this little applicator to use it from the glass bottle and I am just putting a couple drops of this oil in between every single part on the front and then at the back you see me go ahead and apply it evenly as well now again there are so many benefits to this oil and if you've never used any oil mix or any of the other ones that I've made I highly suggest you try this and I honestly think that more people would like this one compared to my other oil which is almost the same as this one except the base oil is olive oil and not avocado oil and the reason is that avocado oil has a slightly thinner and lighter texture compared to the olive oil it also absorbs into the hair shaft way more compared to olive oil which it sort of sits on the hair a little bit more which is not a problem because I mostly focus this on my scalp and I only put it on my hair if I'm getting close to my wash day but in general avocado oil just absorbs so much easier it has so many vitamins nutrients and they absorb into the hair so easily and they make my hair feel so soft and I have low porosity hair so whatever porosity hair you have this will easily absorb into your hair and how much or how little you use is all up to you if I wash this out I get this question a lot do I wash these oils out I do not this is about three days to my wash day so when I wash it out it will be on my wash day which is three days later the only time I would wash it out on the same day like let's say an after 40 minutes or so is if I do a hot oil treatment which you which means I would use maybe three to four times the amount of the oil I'm using in this video and I would put it all the way from my scalp 
a lot of it and go all the way down to the ends of my hair i wouldn't even really need to make my hair damp or moisturize because i would want it to be damp from the oil then i would put on a plastic cap and go under heat for maybe 20 to 30 minutes then i would proceed to wash it out so if you naturally have an oily scalp and you feel like even the amount of oil i've put in this video is too much use it as a pre pool a hot oil treatment just put it 30 to 40 minutes before you wash your hair or even the night before leave it in your hair and then when you wake up in the morning you can wash it out you will still get amazing benefits i am moving on to do my perfect scalp massage which is extremely essential to improve the efficacy of any oil that you use even if you don't use this one i'm telling you if you do not do a scalp massage after you are losing out on a lot of the benefits scalp massages are amazing for boosting hair growth they really stimulate your hair growth and they just work the product further into your scalp than you would if you just let it sit on top and usually you can feel any tingling sensation from the peppermint and rosemary oil together if you do the scalp massage so i highly suggest that like i said i am about three days away from my wash day so i will proceed to put a little bit of oil only on the ends of my hair you see those little curly bits there i like to sort of seal the moisture in and because this is such a great absorbing oil it's still going to sit on top of your hair a little bit but so much more of it absorbs into the hair and i get so many of those nutritious benefits from these oils so if this was on my wash day i would not put the oil on my ends because it might block future moisturizing sessions during the week so i will only do this two three maybe four days before my wash day because i know by the time my hair gets a little dry i would have already washed it off and re-moisturized my hair again and that's what it looks like my edges are so full my ends are nice and curly and shiny so aside from sealing in the moisture the other benefit of putting this oil on your ends is allowing it to penetrate your actual ends nourish that hair because that's where you see the hair growth healthy Thick ends equals longer, healthier hair. That's just the way it works. The only other oil that can compete with this one is my previous video titled The Most Powerful Oil I Have Ever Made. And you can watch that on the side of the screen right there. And remember to subscribe if you didn't in the beginning. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.